You should not be staring at her for 10 seconds, all right? You know what I mean? Three seconds is good enough, you see what I'm saying? You gotta let her know I see you, but I don't see you. You see what I'm saying? It ain't no point in giving up, you know? It's like, they don't wanna let us get into the game. We gonna have to get into it ourselves. We ain't gonna give up. They don't wanna let us in. We are gonna make a way. No matter what, we gotta do the foot traffic. We gonna do the foot traffic. We gonna keep grinding. We gonna keep going because it's our season. Nothing else. Our season. <laughs> Wait, you know what, I'm, I'm, we gonna let them. Y'all yeah. got YouTube? I've been moving, calm, don't start no trouble with me. What is up, y'all? You already know how I go. This your boy be back with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you do that and hit the bell. It's very, very important. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. We are the channel where you watch, smile, and laugh. And please make sure you smash the like button, like smash it, then like smash, 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 smash the like button, man. Um, so today I got a very interesting video for you guys. I don't know why my chair keeps squeaking, man. Like it's so annoying. Like stop squeaking, all right? But y'all, so today I got an interesting video. Um, we're gonna talk about girlfriends. We're gonna talk about trying to get girlfriends and how that thing works and all of that. So y'all, I wrote down a couple things. Um, and really what I want to talk about, like, number one, man, number one, before we even start getting started, you want to get a girlfriend, and if you don't want to get a girlfriend, you just click on this video to see what I got to say, yeah, stay tuned too, man, because, you know, I can help your son or your grandson or somebody else, you know, that, you know, you have, but, girlfriend. Girlfriends come with a lot of baggage, man. So before you're talking about getting a girlfriend, you gotta know what the girlfriend comes with. So, you know, girls come in all shapes and sizes, all problems, and some more, some less. But no matter what, you gotta know what you're getting yourself into when you're trying to get a girlfriend in general. So you gotta make sure, first, that you, you got your hygiene up, you know? You don't wanna stink, you don't wanna be smelling like monkey fart. Very important. You don't want to be walking around and nobody wants to be around you because you smell like a dumpster, okay? So, that's really number one. Like, you literally just got to make sure before you even dump into, before you even get into trying to get anything, any type of relationship, whether it be your best friend or or or, or, or your girlfriend or your, 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 your cousin, your brother, your auntie, before you're trying to establish a relationship with anybody, just make sure that you don't stink. That's just number one, make sure you don't stink. Make sure your breath don't smell like camel fart. Make sure your, your butt don't smell like monkey sex. Make sure that you are presentable. Now when I say that, you gotta make sure, it's so important. Please make sure that you keep up with your parents, okay? Looks are not everything. But if you smell like uh, a spearmint and, and, and you smell good, but you look like a caveman, then, or, or or you look like somebody that just got done robbing like three banks, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. No, it ain't gonna work because you gotta think about it. You can smell good, you can smell really, really good, but then you can look really, really scary. So then, whether it's you trying to make a guy friend or a girlfriend, bruh, they gonna be scared. And if they not scared, that's fine, that's good. But you gotta think about this. Where, where y'all gonna go together? If everywhere you go, everybody leave. Where y'all gonna go? If everywhere you go, everybody think you about to get robbed. You walk into Walmart, all the cashiers, they sitting there hitting their emergency button. And you ain't even do nothing yet. So, make sure that you look bright, look tight, and smell good. Now, another pre-step is making sure that your mind is right. So, you shouldn't be chasing no girl for any physical needs. Um, you, you shouldn't be. It's no point because you don't need a girlfriend for that. So if you're just trying to get girl a girlfriend to do nasty things, this ain't it. You don't need no girlfriend. If you're trying to get a girlfriend to impress your friends, it ain't it. You don't need no girlfriend to impress your friends. If you are trying to get a girlfriend, it must be a girl in your head that you like. You see what I'm saying? That you like. If it ain't a girl that you like, 
then what you doing? Okay? Don't sit there and walk up, because I know a couple people, bro. They sit there and they be trying to date people that they don't even like. Don't settle for less than what you feel like you deserve. Now, what I mean by that, too, is don't sit there and, you know, you in middle school, for example. Sorry, y'all, my camera died. But let's just say it's a girl, right? She, um, you in middle school. We all had this problem. You in middle, you in middle school and you just come out of art. And it's this girl. You ain't attracted to her. You see what I'm saying? She, you ain't attracted to her. To, to you, she look like Ursula from The Little Mermaids. You see what I'm saying? So, to you, she look like one of the girls out of, uh, well, one of the guys out of white girls. Like, to you, she look like precious. To you, she not it. You know what I mean? To you, and it's no knock against big girls, thick girl. To you, she's not attracted. So, whatever type of person you're not attracted to, that's her. But she likes you, and since she likes you, you're like, all right, bet, you know what I mean? I'ma just settle. I'ma just settle, and I'ma just go in here and mess with her. So that type of stuff is something that you do not want to do. You do not want to settle for just somebody that likes you, whether it's in your class, whether it's at work, whether you're lonely and you're tired of just sitting in the crib, tickling your pickle, whatever it is, do not settle. Do not settle. You have an image right now in your head of a girl that you like, or a girl that you may like, a girl that you want, a girl that you wish you had. You have an image in your head. You have an image in your head. All right, and we have that understood. It's an image in your head of somebody that you like. So that's what this video is telling me to go towards. That person. Not just anybody. Don't just do anybody. Not anybody. Anybody is just not good enough for you. You need to find the person that you want to be with because that's the person that gives you the best chance of being happy. Okay? So, now, with me saying that, let's keep in mind that image of whoever you want. Don't try and get that person. That is step number one. Do not try and get that person. Trying to get a girlfriend is not that complicated. It's not, man. You just gotta sit there and you gotta realize that nobody wants somebody desperate, but at the same time, nobody wants to have to chase you. You know, and they wanna know that you like them, but they don't want you to, they don't want, you know what I mean, you to be worshiping the walk, the granny walk, the granny walk on. They want you to be the one that's gonna be chilling, falling back, but at the same time, you know what I mean, you there, you feel me? You right there. So, you got their back like a bra strap. Something like that. Nothing too complicated, but you just chilling. You don't want to be all up on them, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you don't need to be looking for anyone. It's not about looking for this girlfriend. It's not about saying, all right, I want her to be my girlfriend, now I need to attack. It's not about that. It's about finding out who you're attracted to. No, all right, I'm attracted to this person. This person, they cool. You know what I mean? Inside, you can feel butterflies and like, oh, I want to get with her, you know what I mean? But at the same time, on the outside, you gotta be like, What's up, ma? How you doing? My name is Frank. Frank the Tank. You know? Like, you just gotta be chilling. So, once you get that, you got her, you got her on edge. You see what I'm saying? She like, oh, he cute, cause he all, he quiet, he be chilling. He not worrying about me like that. Why he not worrying about me? All the other boys sweating me, but he ain't sweating me. But what the heck is wrong with me? And then you gonna be like, ain't nothing wrong with you, girl. I'm focused on my schoolwork. I'm about to get me a GED. You see what I'm saying? Then she gonna be like, a GED? You about to graduate? Yeah, man, I'm about to graduate. I'm in ninth grade, and I'm already invited to graduation. Top of my class. See what I'm saying? Top, top ranking, you know? Then now she gonna be on you. She gonna be on you, bro, like white on rice. You see what I'm saying? She gonna be on you. When she go home, she gonna think about you. When she go to sleep, she gonna think about you. When she get in trouble, she gonna think about you. When she don't have her phone, she gonna think about you. When she do have her phone, she gonna think about you. And she can't text, she still gonna think about you. When her minutes run out, she still gonna be thinking about you because you, to her, are not thinking about her. Now, that's the first step, man. Stop, don't try to chase or get no girlfriend. Just know, all right, she cool, see what I'm saying? She cool, she in my market. She in my market, you know what I mean? She in your market, but you don't got, you know what I mean? Now, making her notice you. I ain't gonna lie, 
dress is something nice and fly, you know what I mean? Dress up in your back. So you know your mom, if she picking out your clothes at this time, you know, she picking out the clothes, she bringing your clothes home, and not even letting you have an opinion on what you got. Then you know what I mean? You just gonna sit there, you gonna be chilling, bro. You just gonna, you're gonna have to pick out your best shirt, your best pair of pants, and it's not to impress her. It's to give you confidence. It ain't to impress her because she should let she she should like you if you butt naked in the jungle. You see what I'm saying? She should like you if you butt naked in the jungle. So go ahead, and put that stuff on. And then after that, you need to make sure that whether it's class, whether it's work, wherever it is, that you are you you're not on her like that. You're not trying to attack. You're, 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 you're in the background. Make sure you're in the background. Don't cause too much attention to yourself. Making someone notice you does not mean you need to have attention on you. So you go in the room, you know what I mean? You in the room chilling. Now, you know how you always are hanging around friends that be loud or it's that loud person in your class? Always be next to that person, but don't be loud. So what I mean by that, the loud person may not be your friend, but if you can make sure that when people draw their attention to him, they see you in the background, you're gonna be the opposite of him, which opposite to track. So that means that when they sit there and see that guy snapping or trying to be a class clown, they're gonna see you chilling, doing your work on your phone, just relaxing, you know what I mean? Keep your posture chilling, you know what I mean? Keep your posture open, like I'm open to you coming up to me. I'm open to you looking at, I'm open. You see what I'm saying? But I don't, I don't need you. So that's the, that's that second step, making her notice you. Third step, third, Step is getting ready to approach her. Now, what I, what, what this means is basically, now that she notices you, you give it a couple weeks, she sees you, you see her staring, you staring back, you see what I'm saying? You staring back, but you ain't staring too long. All right, I got the 10 second rule. You should not be staring at her for 10 seconds, all right? You know what I mean? Three seconds is good enough, you see what I'm saying? You gotta let her know I see you, but I don't see you. You see what I'm saying? I see in your direction, but I ain't looking at you, shorty. I'm not looking at you. I'm just looking in your direction. So, for example, I'm gonna you gotta stare. Hold on, hold on. That's the stare, you see what I'm saying? I, I'm sorry, I have a girlfriend. I know I showed y'all the stare. Relax. Calm down, calm down, calm down. I know it works, calm down. All right, so give her the stare. Now you're getting ready to approach her, so the bell rings. Bing! So now the bell rings, and you gotta know if this girl is the girl that is easily, like she, she walks out the class the first, like one of the first students to walk out the class, or she like the person that hangs after. Now, if she's the person that hangs after, now you done got you, you you got a free layup, bro. You got a layup, bro. That's a layup. That's a layup, bro. That ain't it ain't that's a layup. That's a layup. That's something light. That's something light. But if she one of the first people to get out, then now you gotta get up and sharpen your pencil before the bell ring. You see what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? But you gotta have your book bag on. You gotta have your book bag on with all your supplies in it. You gotta go, hey, can I sharpen my pencil? Or the best thing to do, to be honest, is ask you to go to the bathroom right, right in there after the class. Hey, the class, when the class is about to end, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? And you be waiting at the locker, not for her though. You be waiting at the locker next to the classroom, acting like you waiting for a friend or something. So she walking out, then you, you know what I mean? You let her walk past you. You let her walk past you. But, she see you, she see you. She see you, and if she's the type of person that stays after class, and she's the last one to go out, wow, you need to be the last one to go out as well. I give it three days. Go out last for, the three, for three days, or stay in their locker, acting like you waiting for a friend for three days. She gonna see you, she gonna be like, wait, hmm, why I keep seeing this person, man? He fine. He looking like, the, he looking like some fried chicken. I'm just, I'm just giving you game. So then, right, now you're gonna have to approach her with confidence. So now this is the walking up stage. So after them three days, she's seeing you, she looking like you, she's saying in her head, you looking like some good barbecue chicken. Now all you gotta do is you gotta serve the chicken on a nice fried plate. 
So, all right, let's say you stand back first. You stand back, y'all walking out the, the classroom together and stuff. Um, and she don't like y'all don't y'all not talking. She don't she don't know that you want to talk to her yet because you just chilling. You had, I mean you had to put your papers in the alphabetical order. You know what I mean? So you know what I mean. You walking out late. The, 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 your next teacher already expecting you. She already know what it is, so she not rushing you to class. Or let's say you waiting in a locker. See what I'm saying? You just waiting for your friend. You see what I'm saying? You get a VIP treatment and you don't gotta stay in class until the bell end. You know what I mean? So then. If you stand after the way you approach her is this. Hey man, I, 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 how you doing man? My name, my name is such and such. I keep saying you leave at right when I leave. What's up? How are you? I never got a chance to meet you. My name is blah, blah, blah. If you're waiting in a locker, you say, Hey, I'm actually waiting for a friend, but just real quick. I keep seeing you. I just wanted to know your name. You are very beautiful. Once you say that, She a girlfriend when you say that. When you say that, bro, she a girlfriend. Like, forget every step. All other stuff don't matter. She a girlfriend. Once you tell, once you sit there and be like, my name, my name is, my name is Frank. Um, I've, I've been seeing you every single time at the school and I mean after class and you know you are very beautiful. What is your name? It's over. She gonna tell you her name. And then once she tell you her name, now you gotta be like. That's what's up, my name is, oh, I, we already said the name. That's what's up, that's what's up, what class you going to? Start making casual conversation. Just start making casual conversation, and every day, casual. Build on it, 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 boom! Y'all friends, y'all friends. And once y'all become friends, now it's about over. Now, you have to tease her. Now, y'all friends, y'all texting, now, you can't text her too much. You can't text her too much. Cause she's still texting her. She's still thotting. She still got options. You see what I'm saying? She still got options. So you gotta make her think you got options too, even if you don't. So if that means you gotta text her once a day and be mad as hell, you might have to do it, bro. You might have to do it. So once you teasing her, now she missed talking to you. She wanted, she wanted a little bit more of that dark or light or brown or, or Asian or, or Puerto Rican or white. She wanted a little bit more of that chocolate. You know what I mean? Because chocolate comes in all type of flavors. You see what I'm saying? She wants, she wants some more. She said, I'm not getting enough nutrition. <laughs> so now she needs some more. So now what she going to do? She going to start to text you on double. Hey, you don't, you don't ever reply or... You don't ever answer your phone. You, this is how you know you got her. You got hoes. Oh, Jesus. You got her. You got her. It ain't no more. You don't have to worry no more, bro. When she starts talking about, damn, you want to hide the man. Damn, they don't make you like this. They don't make them like you no more. So now it's just, now all you gotta do, you teased her. You know what I mean? You got you got everything done with that. Now, now, <laughs> it's time to dive in, baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not talking about sex. What I'm talking about is it's time to dive in as far as it's time to give it your all now. Now that she sees, okay, I like how you are, and I like. I want a little bit more of you now. It's time to dive into giving her and showing her who you really are. You know, it's time to stop playing the games now and it's time to start to, you know, conversate every single day. That's one of the best things I can tell you guys is make sure that she can't imagine her life without you. Once you do that, then you become a daily routine. Once you're a daily routine, you cannot be forgotten. Once you cannot be forgotten, now what is the person going to do? What are they going to do? Huh? You like the water she drank. You like the bath she take every morning. You like the pillow she sleep on. You see what I'm saying? What? What? It's over, bro. It's over. So, and just another, just another, another 
bonus tip for you guys is make sure that you love yourself and you're confident in who you are. Bonus tip, makes everything better. But I hope everybody understood everything I was saying, man. This is how you get a girlfriend, man. So thank you guys so much for watching, man. Your boy B is out.